Godgame.com, all the game you want and then some. I'm still pinching myself that we're doing this. This car, I think, represents the very best of what we can achieve. It's not just some components put together to make a car, it's, it's the passion of the people involved in it. I truly believe we have one of the best design teams in the world. When you've got a tremendous, tremendously talented group of people that can come together and execute something like this, it's very gratifying. I think there'll be a, a big emotional connection for a lot of people with this car. This is just a whole nother level above and beyond where we've been so far. We always get asked, when are we going to do the next Ford GT? When we're looking at 2016, which is the 50th anniversary of us winning the 24 Hours Le Mans, in fact, coming in one, two, three, we really felt it's the 50th anniversary. <laughs> we have to do something. We wanted to create a modern supercar but we wanted to still hark back in some way to the heritage of Ford Motor Company and the GT. This car is so special to so many different people and it has such an important legacy that we just couldn't resist doing a, another version. When we analyzed the original GT40, there was some very, very strong key elements that we felt were intrinsic to make sure that when people see this car, it's very obvious what it is. We really have to honor the, the history of the car, so it's not a place to mess around with history and get too creative. The car floored me. It's really something else. It has the Ford GT heritage. You can see it instantly in the front. But as you travel along the sight lines of the car, it's really from another planet. This car is very forward looking. It's very futuristic. It, it, it harkens back to the real iconic details of the original Ford GT, but it really is very much an artifact from the future. There's a water line that runs around the nose, just below the headlights. That water line has a negative cutback and that was something that was always on the, the original GT40. The headlights tend to be more squared off. It's not just styled, it's very intentional. Everything is there for a purpose. We're targeting over 600 horsepower, so with this small compact V6, we really have extraordinary uh, power density from this engine. Clearly, performance is one of the most important drivers of this car, as much as on the exterior as it is on the interior. The design reflects all the simplicity that gives that feeling of performance and lightness. I think when you look at the car, you can probably see it's, it, it could only be made now. I think we probably couldn't have built this car in terms of the construction of the car 60 years ago. The use of carbon fiber allowed us to get some radical form executions because of the material finish, like the dash. The dash is, is a structural member of the tub. The tub is a structural part of the car. The dashboard is actually the cross car beam and, and gives the stiffness to the actual chassis. It's super lightweight, so it's the best material for creating an efficient product. The efficiency goes throughout the vehicle from the structure, throughout the bodywork. Uh, the EcoBoost Twin Turbo V6 is the, is the highest capacity EcoBoost we've produced. It's, it's pure in its essence. It's, its primary function is is to be a performance car to go fast. So what you see is a very, very simple interior, but actually everything is readily available for the driver. This car is really pushing many boundaries as a GT car. It's pushing many boundaries as a sports car. And that's where a simulation really comes into play. I think the whole concept of gaming is one of those things that is, is very important in making a, a connection to customers and creating that real sense of participation in the product and, and really driving the aspirational nature of the product. With the way video games have evolved and driving simulators have evolved, you get a much more true sense of what the ownership experience is about. You know, way back in the 70s, kids just had a poster on a wall, but it was enough, this beautiful image on the wall was enough to, to drive a passion. What Forza brings to those guys is it brings the poster on the wall to life. There's not going to be a lot of these cars made and not everyone's going to get to be able to drive one, but now we can, you can actually do it virtually and I think that's going to be even added to the excitement of the car. Great brands have really great stories to tell and I think Forza gives us a new opportunity to kind of tell that story to a new audience. What a cool moment this is. 10 years of Forza anniversary, 50 years since the winning GT40 at Le Mans, 
the original Ford GT was one of those cars that made us all fall in love with cars to begin with. So to, to be a part of this and to create a new future legacy for the Ford GT and to continue that, it's extremely exciting. There's always something as an engineer that, you know, I wish we had done this a little different. And that's the nature of an engineer. There's always something you're looking to improve. But right now, there isn't, there isn't a single line I'd change on. I wanted this to be a beautiful piece of product design. People to look at this and say, yes, it's a great tool that does a purpose. Yes, I see the heritage, but my God, it's gorgeous too.